Let's check out this animation, which is a paper liquid equilibrium diagram for a non-ideal mixture and because it's non-ideal, expect at least one isotrop and deviations from Raoult's law. So here it goes. We got this diagram in which we got right now in the y-axis the temperature of the system, in the x-axis the total mole fraction of benzene, and the temperature which is right here and it will change as we move it. Uh, one easy way to relate to vapor or liquid in a diagram is at high temperature you got vapor and low temperatures you got liquid. Inside these two lines, the green line remember is the condensation or dew point of our vapor which is a mixture and at this point we got the bubble point or the evaporation line. Now let me move it a little bit and you will see the right hand side how the vapor changes and please do not confuse uh, the other mix this is only benzene as you can see here this is benzene and ethanol sorry uh, but this is benzene in the liquid phase and benzene in the, in the, yeah, in the vapor phase so please do not confuse don't think this is the total composition of a single material this is the composition of benzene and we have this little point which is pretty interesting the isotrop in which you will not be able to separate you will have either a vapor or let's say a mixture of 57 percent benzene and if you cool it down you will have the same so we we could say that we have two main materials but the main scope of this video is to change the pressure this is now the y-axis is the pressure right here and we got the benzene mole fraction still this remains benzene but what i want to show you guys is that you can change the isotrope position if you change pressure or temperature so this is awesome even though you might be operating inside the isotrope if you change the conditions you may get away with yours so just move it all the way so you can see and i would recommend you to try to do this especially at low temperatures you will see that the diagram becomes almost like flat line actually let's go to the minimum value versus the maximum value and the mid value anyways guys i just wanted to show you this little demonstration and how you will expect to see two main curves according to the diagram if this is not a ideal scenario and i will definitely recommend you to read all this material it explains how we're calculating the activity coefficients which we are going to see later on and we also have the k values and what else okay yeah essentially you, that's what you need you need the activity coefficients and with the activity coefficients you will see that you will model a non-ideal uh, case <music>